Welcome to the Healthy Being by Melissa YouTube channel. I'm Melissa and I am a natural doctor. I'm here to help you get healthy so you can stay well and feel alive by providing you natural health and wellness solutions in a simplified, simplified format. So today's topic, I am so excited to talk to you a little bit about chronic fatigue and the new diagnostics that are out on the market and links to chronic fatigue and the bacteria and the gut process uh, and bacteria in your gut. So why this is super important is it is a, a way for us to provide a cure, if you will, cure, really a way to balance your body to help alleviate a lot of the symptoms that are traditional with chronic fatigue. So what is chronic fatigue? It's traditionally not known as or diagnosed as an individual who's feeling run down, uh, fatigued, exhausted, have really poor sleep uh, patterns. It's often insomnia coupled by real extreme uh, fatigue, but they're not able to rebound. Um, imbalances in the cortisol levels, uh, pain in a lot of different areas of the body. It often will get diagnosed with or misdiagnosed as lupus, uh, the uh, fibromyalgias of the world. Um, so what I want to talk to you about today is something that's really big and we're seeing more and more uh, analysis and understanding of our gut, our digestive process, the bacteria in our gut as it's linking to um, disorders like chronic fatigue, lupus, and other autoimmune disorders. And why this is really important is if we can resolve your gut health, we can heal it, and we can give your body all the things to manage the inflammation in your gut, we can resolve a condition like chronic fatigue. This is super exciting, and we now have science behind it that's telling us more information uh, that allows us to limit the amount of years and even your lifetime that you're experiencing this really often debilitating, depressing situation. So. Why this is really great is there are inflammatory markers that they're now analyzing coupled with the bacteria levels in the gut. And they're now identifying that certain low levels of bacteria and inflammatory markers are indicative of chronic fatigue patients. And so if you are thinking like you might be dealing with chronic fatigue or you have been diagnosed with it, what this means is there are three ways, I'm gonna give you three ways in this video to help you resolve your gut inflammation and increase the gut bacteria to help you minimize the effect of chronic fatigue and even possibly resolve the situation by balancing your digestive process. That's a whole like mind-blowing kind of process. So here are the three things that I'm gonna recommend. First, you wanna get probi probiotics. Those are uh, capsules, powders, and even liquid that have healthy uh, gut bacteria uh, enhancing bacteria for promoting your gut health. Once you get the probiotic, I want you to get prebiotics. Those are the food for the bacteria. So we've got to give the bacteria, it's live organisms, we need to feed it with prebiotics, things like raw uh, garlic, raw onion, cooked onion, um, uh, asparagus, inulin fiber. Those are examples of uh, really rich prebiotics foods for the bacteria. The bacteria will stay if you feed it. So it's like your cat that might show up on the doorstep, you feed it, it stays. So we want your bacteria to stay. And the other thing is fiber. And that goes along with often prebiotics will, will be very fiber rich, but fiber is very healthy for your digestive process. So those are three really quick and easy things that you can add right now to your diet to help uh, minimize the inflammatory marker and inflammation of your gut gastrointestinal uh, inflammation that is now being used as a marker and a diagnostic tool for chronic fatigue syndrome. So why this is really help, helpful and healthy for you is that you're gonna notice the levels of fatigue, energy decrease uh, that you've been experiencing, even the sleeplessness um, and pain. That will be greatly reduced as we reduce your inf inflammation levels. And if you check up above or over here, <laughs> I'm gonna have some links to some inflammatory related videos. I've got uh, videos that talk about what foods you want to avoid to that cause inflammation, what foods to eat to minimize inflammation. And also uh, there will be additional links, I'll have a link right here, to a playlist about the whole digestive process and the gut bacteria. But that's uh, really important information. And so 
that's my takeaway for you. Three things to do to help improve your gut uh, health process and improve the bacteria levels of your gut to lower inflammation and ultimately to help resolve chronic fatigue syndrome. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I, I'd love for you to check out my other videos and I have links up above to some other recommended videos. But uh, thanks for checking in. I am grateful for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me down below. I actually do respond, uh, try to respond every day to my viewers. And I'm grateful for you following and checking out my video. Stay tuned for more great health and wellness news and tips here at Healthy Being by Melissa. Thanks.